Hey there, we're back in Sanctum K today. Instead of doing the mission, um, we are just gonna do some quests. I'm not even sure how many we will find. Uh, but we're just gonna take a look around here. Maybe even find some content that 90% of players, if you're like myself, have not even seen before. Um, so we're in this, and I didn't even know this is called Stingray Strand, you know. Or of the wise, what do you got for me? Ooh, some, some new arm. That's exactly the same level as what I'm using already. Why would I even get that? All right. I've never been in this area. I can confidently say that. Where's my compass and stuff? Everything... Go. Oh, I was gonna try and upgrade or I was gonna change my um skill layout a little bit actually and I totally forgot. Um also what I would like to do today is try and do this villainy of Galarath mission. It's been it's been burning a hole in my lo quest log. That four thousand experience is just juicy. We're going to go up here, see if there's any quests nearby. And then we will try and go back and do that Villainy of Galarath mission. Not our normal uh, playthrough experience. Um, but it still it fits, it fits our, uh, our quest, our journey of our Mesmer Prophecies Nostalgia playthrough. So we're doing it this way. If you're looking for just a mission, you can feel free to skip to the next episode. Yeah, I've never been over here. Crazy. What are lightning drakes level 18? I need to be careful about dang that damage. Got off an epidemic really quick. Oh, I didn't get it off fast enough. We're still doing quite a bit of damage, though. Oops. Very hex heavy mobs here. We're so used to fighting like White Mantle and um, Undead. I haven't really fought a lot of scales. Wondering why my energy is so something stealing my energy. Why is it so low? Huh. I feel like something was zapping my energy. Okay. This is a pretty tough area actually. Keltist or cultist henchman is just kind of sacrificing his health for no reason. While no enemies are around. Great. Out the lightning drake first. He's kind of their heavy damage dealer, it looks like. Let's try and get this AoE. Did they get it off? No, he was just out of range. Trying to get this AoE deep wound off with uh, Epidemic. Always satisfying. Tengu are over here also. Really high level enemies around here. Just doing some exploring right now. Usually, like, that's another thing that's interesting about this area. Uh, just like in general, the Krita, South Krita area, and even the end of our, um, Maguma jungle journey. There's just not a lot of side quests as compared to earlier in the campaign or the, the storyline. Like in Ascalon, they really heavily packed it in with, uh, <laughs> I made myself laugh there, packed it in with uh, quests at the beginning and even through uh, Shiver Peaks, there were tons of quests. 
even i would say up to lion's arc the the le the number of side quests were pretty high but as soon as we get to maguma jungle it's just pretty much just primary quest around here level why are they so low level up here huh level 13 so this 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 uh thing ray strand is kind of like the split point between the low level of early krita and the high level of late krita now like this is a boss level 15 boss we're just gonna melt him, probably. Head and spread our spline to these. Oh, we we were getting bombarded by some inferno imps. Yikes! Heal me, guys. Oh, I'm dead. Ouch, man. Those inferno imps just tore us up. There we go. Get off my dam damage burst. As long as Elysia stays alive, we're okay. And this is not a mission, so. forget sometimes that this game is not just about you know, missions it's not just about storyline it's pretty cool to go around and explore the dev you know the developers made these areas for a reason for players to go and explore and just see what's out there kind of embarrassing that i've never been over here ever i'm gonna use ecom Trying to go. Let's we go. Can we walk over. Yeah, we can go up this way. Cause the Galrath mission is right over here, so maybe possible to get there from here. Because we picked up this mission, actually, or this quest, rather, back in Lion's Ark. Yeah, it looks like there's a, looks like there's an outpost. Fisherman's Haven. I, how do you get there? Has anyone ever been here before? Fisherman's Haven. Oh, this isn't. How do you get down there? Oh, I need to go around. I guess I wasted my honeycomb after all. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get a quick level up here. Are they fighting each other? How do I? Oh, I need to go all the way around. I need to go like this way. Let's fight this out. We're pretty close to level 17. That's another reason why I wanted to do some exploring before the Sanctum K mission. Because we're so close to 17. It's going to make a big difference, I think. In the difficulty level of the next mission. Uh, really high density of enemies in this area, huh? Get off our clumsiness here. He's only level 15. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Come on. That's four seconds is a lot faster. Can't believe it didn't. Okay, Orion with the with the clutch knockdown there. Orion's pretty good with that meteor, I must say. He uses it almost as a an interrupt, not just a not just a knockdown. 
Fisherman's Haven. Let's check it out. What do you got for me here? Hopefully some quests. Temple Leaf. I've never even seen this place, man. I mean, I guess it would have been possible just to run from, like, Bergen Hot Springs all the way to here and just bypass all of these missions, huh? I wonder which is faster. Um, risking all of these high-level mobs. Because whenever we got to Lion's Ark, I think we are like, level 12 or something. This would be pretty difficult trying to... Oh, wasn't paying attention. What blew me up? Deathly Swarm. Alright, let's just make a run for it. I do not want to wipe at Fisherman's Haven's doorstop. Talk to Vardis first. Costume mask. Nope. Bye. Alright, Fisherman's Haven. First time ever looking at this place. And there's a there's humans here. Effort. Wow, skill? What? Uh, all the usual skills. Nothing interesting. All the usual skills. There are some quests here. What do we got? Lost princess. I found something in entry in the scribe's journal. Note that the king often visited one of the priestesses in the temple of ages. Sweet. We got some skills here. Doing it. The royal papers, skills, doing it. What do we got here? I sent was per, uh, a caravan, plundered by the Tengu. Will you retrieve the royal scribe's papers? Sure. You'll get Mantra of Earth. I don't know how useful that'll be. But I was kind of hoping our henchman would level up here, but still just level 15. Let's talk to Delves the Dodgy. What is he collecting? I can't believe there's a human player here. Nope. Nothing interesting. Cool. So we got two new skills. We're doing um, Lost Princess. Let's do Royal Papers first, then Lost Princess. And then maybe we can get over to get Villain Villainy of Galrath. Really want to try and do that this mission. That 4,000 experience is just, just a jackpot. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna adjust my skills really quick. I think I think we're gonna need some hex removal. These hexes are a little too much. Also, I need to avoid. Um, I think I need to avoid auto attacking with this stupid price of failure hex on me. All right, let's get rid of arcane thievery as much as I love it. We're gonna use hexbreaker as a stance, and let's use shatter hack. Might be nice. Do I have any other hex removals? Let's look at our inspiration. Illusion, no. Inspiration. Inspired Hex. That's a pretty good one. I gain energy, too. Yeah, let's use this. Instead of Blinding Flash. Because we're not really making much use of Blinding Flash, are we? I mean, we're getting damage from... Actually, it might be better to use Inspired Hex instead of that and put blinding flashback or do i have any like level f overcast and nothing that puts do it nothing that puts condition on or cheaper than five energy or cheaper than 10 energy all right we got we got two anti-hex on our skill bar now. That'll be better. Can we keep it up? Yeah, look at that. 50 seconds duration. I 
make use of it. Nice. Yeah, it does some damage. I didn't really... Ch I need to pay attention when it goes off. Because it's not really clear if it... Like, the hex fails and the caster takes 32 damage. And I'm guessing you fall out of this stance. I wish it kind of clarified that for us. Uh, wow, we need to go all the way down there. Oh, it's actually faster to get there. <laughs> it's faster to get there from here. Let's just go this way, though, because we need to do some exploring anyway. And I think we're going to go back. We're actually going to exit up here. So, be useful to clear these enemies out of the way anyway. Level 17. Let's get... Uh, let's get our fast casting up. Because I want to I wanna be able to use... Nice. I eventually want to use this shield. I think it'll help my um, survivability quite a bit. We're going to go down here, complete the quest, and then we're going to exit at the top. It looks like there's a road that goes up that way. And that burst damage is sick. Let's attack this guy. Never gets old. That, um... Fr the fragility, phantom pain, shattered delusions combo. Oops. Accidentally shattered my own hex. Let's remember to use our, um... Our abilities. How about that? That'll be a good idea. Just dead skills on my bar because I'm forgetting to use them. Okay, we're going to go to the wall, hug the wall, become friends with the wall, and then we're going to head south. Oh, well, now we're fighting fighters, of course. Warriors are in. Oh, rangers. Now, suddenly, the clumsiness would be nice. And we can't prepare for every enemy possible, but... Dang, they just bursted down Elysia. Is it the rangers doing it? Good. Poor Elysia. Yeah, now I have a useless Hexbreaker ability. Because we're fighting warriors and rangers instead of mesmers and necromancers. Whatever. We're level 17 now. Feels like, for some reason, the, the difference between level 16 and 17, it feels like we're just, we're so close to level 20 now. I can taste it. I wish I could clearly see whenever fragility is applied to the enemies. I mean, I know there's a purple arrow up top, but something I, w I sometimes wish the like the battlefield was a little bit more visual so I can really see what skills are being used. But I think it would quickly get a little too overwhelming with all the skills going off. Jeez. Get him. Okay. One more. Let's take out that guy. Who's that? Okay. I didn't realize I 
That was a really nice hex for me to take off. Nice. Conjure Phantasm, that's not bad. Getting a free extra Mesmer Hex that fits my skill bar, that's nice. Alright, we're here. Oh, they're level 12. Oh, there's a level 18 also. Fly our blinding flash. Not gonna be able to get epidemic off on him. Good. All right, we got the papers now. Yeah, we can re we can teleport and return it, but we're actually just gonna go north since we're already cleared out a lot of these areas. We're gonna go ahead and do lost. Is it really that close? I don't think we can go that way from Divinity Coast, actually. We're gonna go up through here, the Temple of Ages. Surely, surely the um, Divinity Coast is not that close to Temple of Ages, is it? Can we just tell? Eh. We're exploring. Okay. Let's keep that in mind. If this is a boring exploration, I'll uh, times, you know, I'll I will uh, fast fast track us there. Might do that anyway. That was kind of funny to do that last episode. If you didn't catch my last episode of, uh, what was it? The, um, Riverside Province. I did a lot of unnecessary running around, so I... I put on some fast mode. Go. Blinding coming in really good against these warriors. One more. Get him. Get him. You guys don't need me. Alright, so where is this gonna exit up to? I don't even know what that blackout skill does. That'll be cool to get. Love finding new skills. Whoa, what are all these enemies? Let's be careful here. I'm gonna tell my henchman to get back. Fighting, yeah. Go. Be smart about this. Okay. We're keeping up our own health while we can to alleviate Alicia. Alicia. Yeah, how do you say your name? I've been saying Alicia. It's always funny to go back and watch people play these games and then hear them pronounce things differently than you've been doing your entire life, and you're like, I don't know, it kind of bothers you. At the same time, it makes you question. What have I been calling it this whole time? Comment down below. Do you call her Alicia or Alicia? Or Alicia? Tears of the Fallen. Another area I never have been to. Pretty cool. Just doing some exploring here. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a Grand Drake level 20. Why is he so grand? What makes him so grand? Oops, wasted energy there. Thirty experience. 
All right, these guys look to be pretty strong. Level 18s, 17s, 18s, huge groups. Six, seven, we're outnumbered actually. Let's actually pick our battles carefully here. Um, let's hug the coast. Yeah. Be careful. I think I think we're wiped if we try and take these on. We're outnumbered and outleveled. Let's try to slip past as it passed. They see us? Yep, they see us. Fight them out. Man, they separate too quickly. Try and get a deep wound, AoE. Got him. But we're we're wiped, I think. Ability. Get another deep wound. Go. All right, we did it. Not so bad. We lost Alicia, Alicia. But we're all still here. We needed to head north, I'm guessing. I'm still using my bow, dang it. Ah, uh, I always forget to switch back. Who was screaming at their screen? Which weapons, you idiot. Oh, we're already at Talmark Wilderness. Okay. Did I just run through? No. Let's, let's kite this Grand Drake. I don't think the other enemies will come at us. Yeah, they're separate mobs. Ooh, 161 damage. That's scary, man. I think I can make it to the Tallmark Wilderness while my teammates are fighting. Hopefully no one dies because I don't want to get any... I don't want anyone to have any morale, death penalty... Alicia, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Yeah, I made it. Okay, Tallmark Wilderness. Getting closer. It looks like we're in the same area because it appears on our map now. Now we just have to get there. Easier said than done. I don't know. Minotaurs. So here's another. This area would be nice to have clumsiness on, actually. Level 20s, level 19s. Okay. Let's not fight unnecessary battles here. These fog nightmares are scary, man. The fast casting is pretty nice from my Phantom Pain uh, cast time. But I don't actually have a lot of skill. I don't, that's the only skill I have that's actually benefiting from it, isn't it? This, oops, this fast casting, it increases my activation time, my spells, and the recharge time. Okay, it does help the recharge time. My Mesmer smell, smells. My Spesmer smells. Right. I was hoping to avoid these minotaurs, but unavoidable. Pick out this one first. And let's uh, switch away from my freaking bow. I wish there was a reminder that comes up. It just says, hey dummy, you need to switch back to your main weapon. Is it, is it going to be a straight shot there? It looks like... We're gonna have to go through some like swampy area. Oh no, it's zigzaggy. Level design here is pretty cool. Very different than um, the re where we're coming, where we came from, the Maguma Jungle. What 
What biome would this be called? Is this rain? It's not rainforest. Yeah, what kind of what kind of landscape is would you call this? Not jungle. It's not forest. Interesting. Ooh, Dread Night Stalk, level 22. Alright, our warrior is just being a warrior. Let's kite them back a little bit. There we go. Something like deep wound is supposed to last 13 or uh, how long 14 seconds, but it seems to be much shorter than that. Right, let's go this way. It looks like this road goes north. Nice that there's a road in this. Mountainy, jungly area. Really confusing what kind of biome this is supposed to be. 25? What? Is that a lot? Seems like a lot. Okay. This isn't so bad. The enemies are all in groups of like two and three. And our our henchmen are all level 15, so... Oh, okay, low-level enemies. These infer Inferno Imps still hurt pretty bad. He led us into a trap. Hate you. Like, we're getting pretty good experience. We're already like 116th towards our next level. Nice interrupt. Very good. Ooh, a collector. Can I get down there? Yes. It looks like this is a dead end, though. What is he collecting? Forest Minotaur horns. I don't have any. All right, don't need that. Thank you very much. Can I get across? No, I cannot. The water effect is doing some really weird reflection, though. You see that? Oh. Huh. All right, how do I get over there? Can I go? It looks like I can go that way. Yeah, I need to follow this path. This looked like a dead end to me at first. That's why I didn't go this way. Okay, looks like it's changing a little bit. Things are getting a little rocky. Ooh, mad damage. Take him out. Oh, drop something for me. Be nice fighting these like high level enemies if I if they drop some um, max level max damage uh, st stuff for me. Weapons and equipments. Plant fibers. I don't think I need those for anything. No, thank you. Oh, I guess there's one more area we have to get through. Black curtain. I do, I do remember this area. Okay. So the last area was just, that biome was just wilderness. It's very descriptive. 
All right, it's just right up here, I think. Looks very similar to our um, Riverside Province, right? These watchtowers. Temple of Ages. Oh, that's nice. A road sign here. Level 11s. Okay, I like the look of that. Level 11s. I can deal with these. Oh. Aggroed some more enemies. Oops. Use our inspired hex. I used my hexes out of order though. Darn it. We're still fighting pretty high level guys. I think I do need a way to put like permanent um, enchantment on myself because I keep forgetting my my uh, accessory item, my offhand item does. Um, I am collecting bones. It gives me um, extra health and armor while I'm enchanted, so I get a significant buff just from being enchanted. I need to utilize that more. All right, we're there. We made it. Maybe? Almost? Reed stalkers? Weren't those guys? In the Maguma jungle? What are they doing all the way over here? Let's just run past them, shall we? Yeah. Okay, we do this. We turn this mission in. Lost princess. And then we'll go down and do Villainy of Galrod. Wow, lots of people here. The Temple of Ages. Casting. That's a pretty cool. I've never seen this accessory or this uh, bonus on an item for it. health above 75%. Huh. Pretty cool. Not very useful though. Um, where's Salma? Here she is. Do you have a cape on? No. Pretty cool armor. What armor is that? Uh, she's a princess? Yes, I know about my heritage. My father, the king. Oh, she's actually a princess. Was very kind to me, but when the char attacked, he abandoned my mother and all the people. Right to... Uh, alright. Tell Watchman Ara that I will meet with him. I will do that, but must be done. That's completed. Royal Papers is pretty much completed. Let's do Villainy of Galrath. And look at that. We can get some extra henchmen here. Full party. Eight people. That's pretty cool. Villainy of Galrath. We need to go down to Kessex Peak. Oh. Uh, yeah, let's just keep this skill bar, actually. Wasn't the worst thing ever. And hexes seem to be harder to deal with than um, the warriors anyway. Oh, did I not cast it? Oh, it's a casting time of one. There you go. Ooh, I can use Wastrel's Worry on these guys. Very powerful. Try and get it off as often as we can. Cast it all around. Wow, having eight people makes a world of a difference. I want to stay out of the water because I believe it poisons me. 
Sir Robert, what are you collecting? Oh, let's stay out of the water. Oh, abnormal seeds. I have one. What do you have for me? Ghoul staff. That's a nice staff. 2020 staff. Pretty much the same artifact that I'm using, but fire damage. Mm. I don't want to get rid of my... My, uh, cane and chalice, though. Smoke phantoms. Hey, interrupt him. Nice. Oh, get out of there. Oh, that's a, um... That's a mesmer phantom. Interrupt. Ah, uh, chain lightning always was a painful skill. Be on the receiving end. Oh, am I going the right way? Oh, we're back to fighting undead. Whoops. Jeez. Just keep blinding flash on them. Make them useless. Anything? Hmm. Bone Fiend? Hello? Let's get our Deep Wound. Epidemic. Nice. Got it off. Switch to the Hellhound. Get out of the water, shall we? I think we're going the right way. I think it heads south from here. Let's follow the big green arrow. Do we have to go through the water? Let's hug this wall. Nice. No poison for me. Why did you guys get poison? Be smarter, will you? Okay, so I just noticed it does disappear. My uh, hex breaker stance. So it only blocks one hex. Still, it's not bad. Nice. Will this be a cane, an upgrade for me? This cane? No. It's not an upgrade. Uh, let's heal myself. Thank you, Alicia. Just keep changing your name every time I say it. Get across the poison swamp. Um... I think this is a dead end. Hug this wall. Or go this way. It looks like... Yeah, I just need to get around this ridge. How do I get over there? Mm hmm. If only I could teleport over. Let's, let's go this way, I guess. It looks like it... Looks like it ends up on the other side there somehow. Okay, so yeah, we went the wrong way first. Now we're going back the right way. I hope so. Hopefully. Hopefully think so. Not able to get this inspired hex off. There we go. No? Got it. Clumsiness. Give me that clumsiness. They're using that sympathetic visage uh, skill. It's really good against our warriors. Need to make sure I hex break it off.
Okay, we're going the right way now. We took that little detour. I'm going to edit that out for sure. Now we're back on track. Oh, this is a long quest. I mean, I guess that's why it's worth 4,000 experience. Imagine trying to do this quest, though, from Lion's Ark. Lion's Arch, I mean. I always call it Lion's Ark, but I guess it's Arch. Just making everyone upset in the comments. These Minotaurs really have it out for Alicia. Very good, very good. Generally these only these warrior only comps though are pretty they're pretty easy to deal with, especially the henchman AI. Just naturally kite them around pretty well. Whereas me as a human just just absorbs all their damage. Hanks them all. Like sometimes the running around makes the, our henchman AI just you know waste a lot of time but i do see the benefit of it in a situation where i can like just kite them around and my team gets free brain at damaging them I do that more often generally don't i don't move around enough probably probably something you learn in pvp i'll try it out and then melee guys are swarming around me. I'll try and run. SX peak. We're here. I feel like the developers wanted to call it sex peak. And they changed the name at the last minute. William Pennington. What do you have for me? You're collecting ivory troll husks? I haven't even seen any trolls. Whoa, that's a great, that's a great item, uh, offhand item. Funny how sometimes the items for other classes are terrible, whereas the items for others are really great. Lion Guard Gary Ol, you have anything interesting? Should have been a farmer. Thanks for your input. It's oh. gonna remove a hex from our team, and it already wore off. And that AOE touch of agony, or that's it's the dark aura. Dang, that does a lot of damage. AOE damage, you can see our party health just disintegrated. If the enemy AI timed it right, their dark aura damage, it would um, really hurt. Get him. Very good. Very good. Take out the healer. Good. So the enemies don't get, um, I guess, yeah, they don't get poisoned from the water, huh? I guess the fogs count as undead. 
I mean, it kind of makes sense. These reed stalkers are plants, so they don't... They don't take any damage either. Enemies just keep coming. Shadowy remnants. That's got to be a good collector's item. They're level 20. All right. We... Oh. Oops, miscast that. Merc, Dark Shriek, well, level 28. Are you kidding me? How are we supposed to get past this guy? I mean, look how close Galrath is to Fisherman's Haven. Like, why could we not just hop over down here or something? All right, Steven. You are really screwing up. Let's heal up. Get our energy back. Maybe that um, level 28 boss has a big, like, patrol pattern and we can just completely ignore him. Hopefully, that's the case. Guys, get out of there. I'm going to pick up the abnormal seed, even though that collector had garbage items for us. It is eight versus one. He's headed back this way, though. I mean, even being level 28, surely he can't take us all on, right? Right? Oh. We got some more enemies, though. A lot more enemies. Get him. Get him. Don't let him heal. Got him. I didn't see how much experience I got from him, though. Love the damage. All right, almost there. Just a little bit farther. I mean, we're almost going to hit 18 off of this. We'll be halfway to 18. I'm turning this skill, uh, this quest in, plus the other two that we completed. We'll, we'll be close to 18. dead end really not i mean he's on our he's on our map it looks like we just have to go around this big mountain yeah it looks like it goes down this way the migrating oh here's those uh rolls has a deep wound i forgot i should be paying attention to when he uses it so i can use epidemic off of his deep wound as well really cool area 
So it's like this biome is like a Caribbean style. These palm, huge palm trees, island, island biome, tropical island. Dang, there's all these huge mobs. Got off the blind AoE. Let's keep this going. Good. Thank you, Orion, with the firestorm to make them run away. Whew. Pretty scary, but we can handle it. I think it's better to just kill these minotaurs, deal with these minotaurs, uh, because they're migrating all over the place. It'll be really easy to just get overwhelmed with huge numbers if you don't. And they migrate in like groups of three. So. Let's take them out. Ooh, a key. Any chest around here? No. Careful here. They're migrating around. They got this group. Quickly. Okay. Good. Get that AoE blind off. Oh, we over aggroed. Oh no, we didn't. We're good. We're still good. Got scared because our warriors tend to just run around. All right, let's take out this lonely guy. Lonely Minotaur. Again, like, these forest minotaurs didn't really do anything to bother anyone, but we just... We gotta, we gotta exterminate all of them. We are the bad guys. Oh, we don't need to fight them. We can just skip through here. Nice. Okay. Wait, these minotaurs to come down here. Oh, we just got all of them. Oh, I waste did not time it right. All right, let's do a running away strategy. Kite him. Again, the, the warrior enemies are not too bad if it's just warriors. I mean, they just, they just have to run around and chase you. Your other teammates can clean them up. All right, we're here. This should look very familiar for Guild Wars 2 players. If you got the uh, latest expansion, I believe it takes place in this uh, Wizard's Tower. Is that what it is? So the lore, if I know it correctly, um, yeah, Kessex Peak is the Wizard's Tower. And Galrath is... I don't know what he's trying to do. In the words of... He's going... Oh, he's trying to... He's trying to get some secrets in the Wizard's Tower. But I don't know what makes him evil. He's just... He's just a villain. The game just labeled him as a villain. 
If anyone knows the lore behind Galrath, other than the fact that any additional information that makes him a villain, um, please share it below. As far as I know, he's just a, a white mantle knight who wanted to gain some um, intelligence. So he studied some magic. And we don't like that. Bunch of bandits. What level is Galras? He is level... Can't get a good view of him. How do I get up there? Collector. Gantry and Jawbone, we don't have any of those. Really, I have to run all the way over here? Oh, what are these enemies? Why are they... Why are they level 20? How do we get up there? I don't think we can fight all of them. Can we get them from here? Yeah, let's just take out these bandits from here. No, you dummies. Alright, you guys. They're gonna run all the way around. Are you kidding me? Where's he at? Our enchanter ran all the way over there. Wow, dummy. He's ruining everything. He really thought the way back to us was to go up there, huh? Well, what are these, like, Verata? Eye of Verata? Like, what are these guys? I don't think we can fight them. They're all level 20. There's, like, a ton of them. And we're a man down now. Stupid Dunham. Dunham. They all... Yeah, they're all level 20. What are we supposed to do? Let's... Let me try and kite them, I guess. Alright, we do decent damage to them. Let's take this guy out. Oh no. There's too many. No way we can fight them all. They don't have any healers though. They're just all mesmers. Take your hex. Ooh, I got double. I got double uh, phantom pain. All right, we're doing okay. I got this guy first. And this guy. Let's put phantom pain on all of them. Dang, this is tough. This guy, oh, he's a necromancer. Don't let him, oh my gosh. Well, they only cast minions. Actually, they're not so bad. They summon a minion, they do auto attacks, and then they steal health from their minion, so. They aren't really able to overwhelm us. I guess Verada is a famous, um, famous necromancer.
Hi. Oh, hey, Donna. You really helped us out a lot, this, this quest. Thank you so much for just running past. I mean, what were you even trying to do? Alright. Bandit should be no problem. Isn't this leather belt from, um, pre-searing? The pre-searing item, I think. I wonder if it's the same. Oh, he's only level 20. Clear out these bandits. Then Galrath. Your villainy is coming to an end. Cyclone X. He attacks pretty fast. Boom. Okay. Wow, what a journey. Let's go back to uh, Fisherman's Haven. Right, we did all the missions. Good. Fisherman's Haven. Turn in these quest runies. Lost Princess. Blackout. For four seconds, all of touch target's foe skills are disabled and all of your skills are disabled for five seconds. Interesting. It's a really cool skill icon. Um, there must be some really... It must be really some niche kind of uh, skill to use that for. An earthquake. You invoke an earthquake at target foe's location. All foes near his location are knocked down and are struck for 26 earth damage. That's pretty sweet. And mantra of earth. We know what that does. Fire attunement. We know what that does. All right. Now let's go back to Lion's Arch. And we shall turn in the villainy of Galrath. Oh, it's still the anniversary celebration, huh? Look at all the people. Look at all the fireworks. Are people shooting them off or are they just going off automatically? Ooh, what a journey. This was a really long, really long mission. Oh, he's got another one for us. Oh, that's for um, going to Cantha. We're not doing that yet. All right. We made it. What a long episode this was. This will be a bonus episode. If, you, if you're not interested in the exploration, you don't have to watch this. But we're going to end it now before it gets crazy long. Next mission, we're doing Sanctum K. So thanks for watching. Peace.